So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to your 34th Angular 6 tutorial in which we're going to take a look at how to register your reducer into your app.module.ts file and make it available throughout your app. So let's get started. Okay, so if we take a look inside our app.module.ts file right now and get rid of all the old code we had, what we have here is that we wrote this initial state which we no longer need because we are already defining that inside our reducer here. So we have this store module dot for root and what it does is that the first argument accepts our reducers. So what we need to do is <clears throat> actually provide it reducers. So what that means is that your application can have multiple reducers, not just one, because um, a single reducer will not be able to manage all the data flow in your application if there's a lot of data. And that actually makes sense as well. You don't want to overcomplicate your apps. So what we're gonna do is just write reducers here. And the second object would be just that. And what we're gonna do is just import reducers from and what we can do here is write store reducers and that's it so we need to create an index.ts file here and what goes in this index.ts file is that i just want to say that export my reducers which would be um let's just say this is now this is a reducer for a particular part of your state so um, let's just assume that your store has a state let's just say um, your store your store is has a has various kinds of states for example i have let's just say user state which just manages data for user then we have let's just say app state which just manages stuff like login logout functionality and all that stuff um, user state contains information like the name and email ID of the logged in user and information about them basically which can change over time. An app state might contain things like how many people are online and all that stuff. So um, you don't want the reducer managing user state uh, or actually rather you want that reducer managing user state should be different from the reducer managing app state. So what we can do is we can actually explicitly define here um, what we want to do with a particular um, reducer. So if we take a look here, what we can say right here is I can just say app reducer is my app reducer itself. And after that, what we can do is we just can just import this app reducer from app reducer file. Well, let me just see. This is just a reducer. So we can just say something like this right so once we have that in place we have our reducers object with us which we can pretty much just put in here and this now makes it available to your application now obviously we can add tons of type checking here and basically we can do something like actually um your rea uh, your ngrx module also provides something like action reducer map and what it does is that it would just check whether um the reducers you are passing actually match your state in your actually match your actual state of your application or not so for example if i just import this from let's just say ngrx store what I can do, and this is purely type checking, right? So this is not really strictly part of code, but obviously you should do type checking. So this is action re action reducer map, and it could accept, let's just say, it would accept something like um, app state, something like that. So what this app state would be, is that this would be an interface. So this is app state. And what this interface consists of is obviously my type of reducer. So this would be um, the reducer 
of uh, the type of reducer I have here so for this what we can do is basically just quickly create the same interface and apply it as the return of our export function and similarly we can just mark it at export as well and introduce it into the interface as well so that completes our type checking and uh, yeah let's just take a look real quick what we have if everything's correct or not so yeah everything looks good and we have all the imports in place as well so yeah basically that's all for this video and in the next video we're gonna explore it a little bit further so i'll see you then in the next video and one more thing if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to receive instant notifications